How are you all today? Hey friends, come on in. Where are my friends? Friendship. Friendship. We call it friendship. Back home we say hey my friendship. Friend, friend, friends, come on. I'm excited. I want to share something with you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's your girl, Coach Eli. Hey, YouTube, because it's gonna go on YouTube. YouTube, how are you? Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Coach Eli, coming to you live from Maryland. From Maryland, drop your state, drop, drop. Where are you coming from? Check in, check in, check in, check in. Y'all coming in. I have a quick tip to share with you. Um, I feel elated, feel happy to share this. I literally just concluded a five weeks mentorship with my client, one of my clients. And uh, today we went over marketing strategy as I was looking for the PowerPoint so I can present uh, my marketing strategy with her, the course. I stumbled on my pre recorded video for another um, content, right? So we just relaxed and watched it together. It was bomb, guys. It was really great. Um, I get to hear myself, you know, I was in a, in a, um, another, another, another phase, you know, as a, you know, as a viewer, you know, I'm the one that recorded this. I don't go back to my recordings. I don't have time to do that. Once I record, I know what I did. I know it's bomb. Okay. I know my worth. I know my content, but, um, accidentally I get to go back and watch it. We will listen together. Um, it was really great. I'm like, did I just do this? Was that me? Hey, I give myself a pat. I'm like, oh, that was really great. And I saw because I shared my screen, right? So I was sharing the screen, um, the video, the content, and I was looking at my clients. I'm like, she's really, she was really into it. She was really, she was taking notes and that resonated with me. And after the video, I asked her, um, how did you feel? She, she actually first thing, you know, she took great notes. She took the so of my recommendation. Anytime that you're watching me, I recommend that you take great notes, okay? Take great note, guys. And second of all, I asked her, what did you get out of this? And she was able to connect everything that I said in that um, marketing, actually the marketing course. And she was able to say, okay, this is relatable, all right? So it was relatable for her. It made sense. And I was like, you know what? I got inspired and I shared with her a very recent experience that I encountered at my work place last week and that's why I'm coming on today to share with you guys um, the same experience okay um, you know I would always love to share with you all so this is a situation this is a situation um, and God gave me the right terminology and I couldn't wait. I didn't want to put it in my notes. I don't want to put it in my notes because again, I might lose that. I might just forget about it because again, I'm always busy, but I immediately had to go get this wig so I can look a little bit presentable and I can share with you what God gave me the word. All right. As a business owner, are you guys here? Are you all here? As a business owner, you have to have the ability to discern. Can you write the word down? Discern. Discern. You ready? I mean, give me five more minutes. I'm in a room. Give me, close the door. I'll, I'll be first. Okay. I'll be right back. So, God gave me that word. And God wants me to tell you guys, okay? You all as an entrepreneur, you have to have the ability to discern. What do I mean? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? When you have the ability to identify, that's another word um, that is relatable with what I'm about to share with you. Ability to discern as a business owner. Uh, what happened? Let me tell you what happened. A lady, somebody, one of my clients came to me. Okay, somebody, she's not even my client at that time. She came in and she requested to be drug tested. Typically, the people that we see are people that their employer sends them to do drug testing, right? But she came and I was a little bit confused. I was asking her for an authorization form and all that. She's like, she doesn't have any. I'm like, so how do you then want to do this? How do you want to pay? She told me, oh, I'm going to pay out of pocket. Hmm. It's been a minute that we've seen those clientele that want to come out of pocket because every typical day 
we you know their employer already paid for them they come in to do the drug testing right except for the ones that we already know that are that are our own personal contract right so meaning she was a walk-in all right she was a walk-in client because it's either your employer already paid for you and you have your authorization form or we already have an establishment contract with a particular agency and they're all on an appointment we know when they're coming so I got her a little bit confused. I got myself a little bit confused and I was asking her. So I was able to discern that she was one thing. She was a walk-in. So as a business owner, I'm just trying to tell you how I got this contract. So when she came in, um, I did the drug test because she's not part of the DOT. I did the drug test for her. Um, I didn't ask her the follow-up question. That's what I'm coming here to teach you guys. Ability to discern in tar your target audience ability to identify your target audience when people come into your office how do you turn them into leads yes they have walked in and you're happy at that point you got the client oh somebody came in and paid me that's typical you would have forgotten that you need to do extra work so i'm teaching you today how to identify and how to discern and how to generate leads even from your customer base so this lady came in what did i do i asked her follow-up question i did a little bit quick check here and there i was i knew i knew what i was looking for i asked her who was her employer okay because i didn't need that information for any for the business that she came there for but i was able to go ahead because in my head i knew i wanted to reach out to this person because from right off the bat i knew that employer was that one that what didn't want to be bothered with they don't want to be part of the drug testing problem because when she what she presented to me was a disclaimer that the employer is not responsible for the payment so I already knew that that employer didn't want to be part of that problem she doesn't want to pay for the drug testing and she gave them hey go and find your own person so I immediately turned that client into a lead okay so after treating her nicely helping her assure that she gets the results and everything you know because i already know again one thing that i want you to take out of this is that know your know your um know the business know how your business works i already knew how my business worked i knew that one thing that employer didn't want to be bothered they didn't want to be part of that drug testing process number two i know that she will always need drug testing from what I saw. I understood the business. So after doing everything that she came there for, I asked her for one thing. Do you mind giving me um, the name of the business? I asked for a phone number. She refused to give it to me. What did I do? I took the name. I was fine with the name. I did my research. I went on Google. I searched for the business name. I went on the website. Who is this person? okay so immediately i got my answers i got the phone number i got the email what did i do i reached out and offered solution i reached out to this client because i already know that they didn't want to be bothered with they didn't want to do that process all they're looking for is to hire they didn't want to pay for this everything on the all of those i in turn use my words i used my words carefully with the lead tool that I have, and I offer solution, all right? I knew there was a problem. So these are the things and the tips that I'm trying to help you understand. That's the takeaway from this video. So I went ahead and say, hey, Mrs. This, uh, one of your clients came, I see that you guys are gonna be in need of drug testing. We are an expert at this. I'm going to help you make sure your onboarding process is smooth. I'm gonna give you the test at a very good rate discounted rates okay and i will send you results in less than 24 hours i promise you that you're going to get your results i will streamline all of your onboarding process for you and you wouldn't have anything to worry about trust me in less than eight hours she responded back to my email and she wanted to learn more i'm talking to you from what just happened last week from last week to today the beginning of this new week I have gotten 10 referrals. She has sent me 10 employees to do drug testing. How about that? 
because of three things. I've been able to understand that there was a problem. I immediately have the ability to discern. Okay. Then the third mean I understood my business. That is how I want you guys to place yourself and operate. Understand your target audience. Know the problem. When people come to you, leverage because what they will do is help you market your business. They've been there, right? They've seen everything. Make sure you give them an everlasting, everlasting first impression and they will help you do the rest. Okay? So that's what I did. And I didn't, I don't always do that because I'm always overwhelmed. When people come to me, my thought process is get them in and out. But these days, I've used my business center as my marketing center. Everybody that comes into that agency, I market to them. So that's another re another thing that I'm going to be teaching you on July 1st. I want you all to come because there are so many more, many more strategies that I'm going to be sharing with you. But I'm sharing you this, I'm sharing, I'm leaving you with this tip for those of you that have a collection site, a business center, an overhead space. All right. I'm telling you, use this. It will work. All right. And I have many more like that, that I've always, that have worked for me. Many, many, many more. So from last week to this week, I've generated about 10 leads. 10, not leads actually, potential clients that I've actually paid for my services. And this lady has, ever since then, we've developed rapport, relationship. We call every day. We chat every day. She's happy. She's going to text me, oh, Elizabeth, somebody's coming tomorrow. Because she likes the process. I helped streamline the process. What became, what was a problem for her? Because she didn't want to be bothered with. She doesn't want to do, she doesn't want to be involved. I told her, you know what? I'll take care of the problem. I'll take care of the problem. I want to actually do the problem. What? And it's not a problem because that's my domain. That's my specialty. All right, guys. Your girl has to go because I got to go back to mama mode. I've been sitting here teaching mentorship, doing coaching since 5 o'clock. Okay? But um, this was my takeaway from the video, from my message, from my mentorship. My last year, so that was the last week. And I've come to share with you. All right. So that's everything. Should you have question, um, please do not hesitate to ask me and do not forget to subscribe because I said it's going to also go on YouTube. So my YouTube people, uh, make sure you subscribe for more business tip. Okay. And if you need assistance with coaching, mentorship, and an experience, best, best strategist. Okay. Um, uh, make sure you visit my website. It's called, um, info official coach, Eli.com. It's going to be on your screen. Um, yes, official coach Eli, and we need to reach us quicker and faster. A very good number to do is 301-683-7041. I'll talk to you guys again. Bye for now.